Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Bear Reviews. Back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is the Innocent Gun Original. This is a bourbon barrel aged Scotch Ale. It was introduced in 2003. Brewed in Scotland by Innocent Gun. 6.6% alcohol by volume. The IBUs are not disclosed. I have had this before, although it's been a while since I've had it. Uh, and I remember liking it a lot. I've pretty much liked all of the Innocent Gun beers that I've had over the years. A little bit about this beer. It says, The original is our flagship beer, the one that started it all. Our unique bourbon barrel aging process unlocks flavors like vanilla and, to and toffee, which combine with the malty character of our Scotch Ale to create an incredible taste experience. We've spent more than a decade perfecting our craft. Find out how we put the barrels into the beer at Innis and Gun. Dot com. So they do have a website, innisandgun.com. I have checked it out. It's a very nice, informative website, and they give you uh, some good insight into how they make their beers. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. They have changed the label design over the last few years, uh, which I really like the new label. I say new. It's probably three or four years old now, but I remember the old label, and it has changed quite a bit. So, let's give this thing a pour. An aggressive pour. There you go. So, the color is kind of copper when I hold it up to the light. You got some nice streaming bubbles going up the glass. It poured with an enormous head. I did pour it aggressively, but very enormous head there. Creamy, slightly off-white head. And Scotch Ale is one of my favorite styles. I do love Scotch Ale. The Founder's Dirty Bastard, I believe, is my favorite. I always forget about the Innocent Gun, but Innocent Gun makes an excellent Scotch Ale. 6.6% uh, alcohol is actually a little bit low for a Scotch Ale. The Dirty Bastard, I believe, is 8. And then you've got Old Chubb from Oscar Blues. That's 7 or 8. Um, the Bell's Christmas Ale Scotch Ale, I believe, was 8%. So... 6.6 is a reasonable ABV Scotch Ale, especially to be barrel aged. You are getting those nice toffee caramel notes on the aroma. A little bit of the barley malt bready notes are coming through. Mm, it smells very malty, very malt forward aroma. No hop um, character that I can detect. God, it smells so good. It smells really, really good. If you like malt-forward beers, if you like your caramel toffee notes, your bready notes, then you need to really try a Scotch Ale if you haven't already. Um, Scotch Ales are perfect for malt, malty beer lovers which I am a huge fan of. So just trying to let the head die down a little bit. Um, that's what I get for giving it a super aggressive pour, but looks very nice and creamy. Nice appearance as well. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Cheers. Mm. Palette follows the nose. You're getting that nice caramel, those toffee notes, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of the barrel presence. It's not boozy at all, though. Uh, you are getting a little bit of that barrel presence, a little wood presence on the palate. Uh, and, of course, the toffee vanilla notes uh, are probably coming from the barrel aging as well because a good bourbon has nice toffee, caramel, vanilla, all of that in there which I'm definitely getting uh, with the taste profile of this one. Mm. Definite barrel presence, the more I sip on it. Very nice. The body is light to almost medium with this one. There's a lot of substance to this one. Uh, it's got some really good malt-forward notes, like I said. Um, the carbonation is 
more on the light side. It does have some nice prickly carbonation, but it's on the lighter side. The finish is super smooth. It's almost got like a creamy finish to it. It's hard to describe, um, but it's got a really smooth finish. Uh, no hop bitterness that I can detect. It's nice and malty um, and bready. It's just an incredible beer. Um, the original, the one that started it all, 2003. They've been doing great things over there at Innocent Gun. Um, kind of innovators in a sense because they they didn't necessarily start the barrel aging thing, but I think they became really well known for it early on and a lot of other companies followed suit and started doing the barrel aging thing um, to get that nice depth of flavor that you get with these beers. This is just an excellent beer, guys. I'm going to go 97 out of 100. Uh, it's really getting up there towards world class. It's, it's just an excellent beer. Um, it's got some nice complexity to it. But it's definitely really drinkable. And um, it gives you everything. Nice complexity, depth of flavor. But it has good drinkability as well. You could definitely drink a few of these uh, for the you know body being as light, light as it is. And 6.6% .6 alcohol for a Scotch Ale is on the lower end. So you know you could drink two or three of these no problem. Whereas if you drink two or three of the uh, you know Dirty Bastard, you might be in trouble. But this one has a little bit more sessionability. It has just as much character. You know, it's just a Excellent beer, like I said. So 97 out of 100 for the Innocent Gun Original. There you go, guys. Love that label and bottle design as well, the nice embossed uh, bottle. Just great beer with the nice story on the back that I read you guys earlier. So that'll do it for this beer review, guys. 97 out of 100 for Innocent Gun Original. Hope you're all having a great day, and until next time, everybody, cheers.